Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart today. As you can see, we broke out from this massive triangle pattern. However, then after grabbing this liquidity to the upside, we broke back down below this trend line, exactly as I warned about in yesterday's video. So in my opinion, we have some chopping around to do in this triangle pattern before eventually breaking out to the upside or to the downside. So in the case that we break out to the upside, the price target is 78.5K. And in the case that we break out to the downside, then the price target is 58.3K. So the level that you need to watch out for for a breakout to confirm is 70,000 if you're breaking to the upside. And in the case that we're breaking to the downside, then it's roughly 66.6K. Now taking a look at the support and resistance levels for Bitcoin, you can see that right now we are at the very edge of this support level right here. So in the case that we do see a break down from this level, well then the next level of support below that is sitting from about 66,000 all the way to 65,500 US dollars. So to make it a little more visual, I've drawn it out here on this triangle pattern. So this green box right here is this support level right here. So in the case that we do have lower price action, this could be another fake out where we simply trade outside of the triangle and then just get a regular bounce from that level of support, getting us back inside the range again. So now that we have taken out this big level of liquidity here, let's take a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat map. And on the one month time frame, about $2 billion worth of liquidations that happened just yesterday. And there's even more liquidity to the upside. So there's a decent amount of liquidity right here at about 73K. And then even more liquidity, about $2.2 billion worth of liquidity at 74,000. And as you know, if you regularly watch my videos, typically the Bitcoin price gets attracted to where there's most liquidity on this chart. So for as long as we are trading inside this range or at the very least above this trend line and the most amount of liquidity is to the upside right here. Well, in that case, I still think it is more likely that we break out to the upside and ultimately this pattern will break out before April 19th. However, in my opinion, it is very likely that we actually break out well before then because the Bitcoin halving is in 10 days also on April 19th. So this will obviously cause a lot of volatility in the markets. And this volatility is why I am expecting a breakout either to the upside or to the downside before the Bitcoin halving. Now taking a look at Ethereum on the daily time frame, you can see that we got rejected from this 786 Fibonacci level right here and then came all the way back down to the 618 Fibonacci level. However, then we did get a reversal back to the upside. And by taking a look at the support and resistance levels for Ethereum, you can see that we simply got a rejection from this level of resistance. And right now we are finding some support in this support level right here. So in the case that we do break back up to the upside, well, the next level of resistance that I would take a look at is first of all 3650, but then right above it from 3750 up to 3800. However, in the case that we do lose this level of support, then you need to take a look at this level at about 3330. This is the Fibonacci level. And then right below that at about 3250 down to 3150, we have another big level of support that you need to keep an eye on. And right now, there's not too much else to say about Ethereum. We're simply trading sideways and I will check back in on this tomorrow. Lastly, taking a look at Solana right here. After finally finding some support at this level right here, we did not manage to flip this into a level of support. So this is currently still a level of resistance and we broke back down into this level of support. So the levels that you need to watch in the short term here is first of all, this support level right here from about 171 down to 167. And in terms of resistance in the short term, you need to watch for this resistance level at 176 all the way up to 181. Because in the case that we do break out above this level, then the next level of resistance for Solana is 187 all the way up to 192. However, in the case that we do break below this level of support, then the last line in the sand for Solana right here is at 162, because as soon as we lose this, we're basically going straight to $150. 
Now, if you want to watch another video, check out this video on the left side of your screen. I think you're really gonna like it. Also, I really appreciate you guys for getting me to 200 subscribers. Let's shoot for 300 next. Thank you very much for watching once again. I'll see you tomorrow in the next one.